Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our rush against the Hive. It is time for another mission where we are hopefully going to neutralize an enemy field commander. I want that extra sweet sweet engineer because we are being short of engineers since a long long time. Operation Manic Thorn is a thorn in my side, one that we need to pull out. And in order to do that, uh, we're bringing, again, a lot of sergeants. Taurus, um, our main medic. Uh, Zukuger, Universe. Uh, so that's Namri, uh, Bastard, and uh, Mike the Public Bravo are going to join us. I hope that either of these uh, sergeants can actually finally make the jump to Captain. At this point, I don't care who it is, as long as we're getting it done. I need the promotion and I need it badly. Let's jump into the mission and see how well we're going to do. Lots of robotic enemies. Alright, we are down in the dirts. This seems to be a new map tile. I think it is the tunnels and I absolutely love it. One of the best decisions that I did for this run is to get new map tiles. Since we're looking for a killing of the commander, respectively the general, we want to make sure that we're not breaking stealth, not yet. Shifting over to the left hand side. And let's take the high ground for now. Our concealment will last until we break it and then the timer will start. As long as we're concealed, the timer is actually going to be okay. Fantastic map tiles, by the way. Really appreciate what I'm seeing. That on the other hand was a misclick, <clears throat> one that I don't appreciate that much. Now. Cool. So, moving up. Affirmative. Covering the Scanning. Hostiles are moving. I want to take some of the high ground here. Just keep it for now. Good. So, Mike was just catching up with the team. I'm a bit concerned about the mechanical enemies. Typically these are mechs at this point and mechs tend to have a lot of armor. One of the things that we're not really capable of dealing that. with that well. Mike continues to scout out. We got some high ground there. Roger. Moving. Moving. Moving to designated coordinates. Full cover. Moving. And although some of our tiles are half cover, I think overall we're good as long as we keep the fire line. Triple mech? Are you kidding me? Got some hostiles grouped over here. That's a solid 33 hit points, but the two arm armor on each of them will make it an absolute I, painful I... Pro, uh, process to go through them. By the way, fun fact, you can't move up to this tile, so apparently the modder has forgotten to put stairs up here. 
not the end of the world but it makes the whole situation a bit awkward good copy moving on target the sukuger moves up memory moves up Taurus moves up. Still trying to stay out of engagement range. We want to find the general. <clears throat> so far none of the mechs have triggered. Taurus moves to high ground. Done. Mike the Public Bravo moves up. And Bastard moves up. Sounds like a squad of uh, T-800 uh, Terminators. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Heading to that they might not, uh, might not look like Arnie, but they are Control certainly as guy. dangerous as he is. Moving closely with them. Not really finding a lot of high ground here, <clears throat> which is a shame. Mike moves up. Can't see them yet. All right. Moving to position. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Still nothing. Heading to that location. I'm a bit concerned <clears throat> that these guys haven't yet engaged. And this map seems huge. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the general is not on this side of the map. And then there is only one other half. And there will be quite a few enemies, actually. That would be fun. If they are continuing to move, I'll actually put a landmine down. <coughs> Zuhuger. Changes the sides, so does Taurus. I don't want to be suddenly ambushed by another pack. That's a very solid kill for all three. Absolutely. Well, not a kill, a shredding. We're visible here. Yeah, there we go. Well, who would have thought, right? enough damage Rock 
Point blank. Who's keeping score? Six damage right into his stupid face. Mike for public bravo. Moves up. Okay, I'll go. We're moving up. Something over here. Let's check it before Horus you Horus gets the kill. Um, well, 87% is not 100%. Bastard moves up. Finally gets that 100%. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Copy. Good, Mike moves further Aye, forward. Oh, look at that! We got the general. I have visual. Time to hit the mech. Nice little shredding, good job. I like it. Moving up. Seven points of damage, okay. Namri. Could suppress that advanced trooper. Careful, I don't want to trigger anything. Lining protocol would be nice, but I think the combat protocol, four points of damage already, is slightly better. Moving in. Heck is almost down. One point of damage. How's our chance now? That's not good enough. Let's go with Comet Protocol, although it's a bit of a waste. <clears throat> I'll forfeit the loot in the favor of not pulling another pack. And more suppression. Damn it. Copy that. Mike moves up. Oh. 
What's that? Just eight points of damage and he's still standing? Holy. So Cougar moves up. Namri moves up. Hundred percent chance to hit that trooper. Bit of a waste of a grenade, but I want to make sure that he's gone, gone. Lining protocol. We'll daze him. Make him slower and less dangerous. On the move. Moving up with Taurus. Very solid hit. Love it. Loot unfortunately expires. Mike moves up. And that's a great kill. Menace one five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Well, this is where it will become interesting, right? Uh, there are for sure a couple of more enemies left and right. Reloaded. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Since we've killed the general, they um, they will all flock onto us. There is, however, some high ground here, so we do have options to deal with them. Reloading. Let's move already. Good, getting a bit of a better position. Sure Just want to make sure if we're ambushed from right over here, that we do have a good overwatch angle. <coughs> Reload, overwatch. See, there we go. <clears throat> it was just a matter of time until they came. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for a bit more damage. This should be a shred for three of them. It's the best that we can do. It'll not poison, but the normal damage in the shred will still happen. Good, fully shredded, which is what I was hoping we would uh, do. Some of this here does not allow line of sight Something is a bit off with that map. What's our chance for a Hayward protocol here? Not too great. But we do a fail save. 
I think one of uh, the options that we do have available... Oh, there's another pack back here. One of the options that we do have available is just a shutdown, right? 60-40. Unfortunately, did not happen. Uh, we're still okay. Micro missiles should be fine. Done. Mike moves over here. And let's just 100% kill this guy. No experimentations here, no tests. Let's just get it done. Both of you are suppressed, that means no micro-missiles, and uh, two, potentially two, overboard shots. Good hit. Another phenomenal hit. It's getting worse. Full cool cover, freeing up that space in front. Something is odd. Can't even. Yeah, that was a mistake, but it's definitely a problem of uh, the map. I tell you what, we rewind that turn. Not a big fan of um, doing so, but if there is actually a realistic bug in the game, then there's only so much I can do about it. All right, fair enough. That's good start, decent. Can't really suppress them. So Kuga could use a nice little suppression, uh, a nice little aid protocol here before going into Overwatch. That's not going to be super helpful. Yeah, we're just going to Overwatch. Overwatch. Mike would risk his life if he was about to move up because they could crit. It sucks, but rather going for some full cover here. Good hit. Crit might change things around. 
There is a very solid chance that this is going to be a kill. Hell yeah. Great. The crit changed changed everything. Alright, well that's good. Starting to hit. Suppression nicely removed. And whilst we're at it, let's suppress this guy. Might not even need that. Reload, combat protocol into 4 damage. Namri did a fantastic job as well. Yeah, that would be risky. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the last pack. Mike moves up. Another miss, unfortunate. Alright, Overwatch. Namri moves out of the fire. Copy that. And Mike needs some healing. Digging in. Don't move, you'll be all right. Not bad for a actually quite difficult mission. I very much liked how uh, how that uh, played out with the tunnel, where we're effectively funneling all of them into the tunnel. And they were just coming and coming and coming. A couple of grenades to uh, shred them, and then on top of it, just that nice, sweet uh, areas zone suppression. The two squaddies got a promotion, but none of the sergeants. Wow. Mike the Public Bravo increases the zone control. That's the way to go. <coughs> Can't believe, I mean, we're on seven missions with some of them, and they are still not capable of getting a promotion. Hello, Commander. Given that we do have a substantial amount of our soldiers wounded, I think we need the healing improvement again. Nice blue screen protocol. We definitely need proving ground. Grenade upgrades wouldn't be too bad, so having that with the mutant autopsy could prove quite helpful. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. I think we're going for the mutant upgrade. Advent clinic. I saw a medical breakthrough that would have been considered nothing. Mm. 
New bonus gain, suit up. Uh, we don't even have all of uh, the Asian... We don't even have all of the Asian regions, but apparently... Apparently that doesn't matter. Good, continuing to get some more intel. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're now we do have a problem. I hope that we will hold nine more days until the reduction. If not, then we do have a, an actual problem. Endors is ready, I like it. Now we need a few more marines. And who could be a better marine than Euler himself? Endors. is getting the right color coding different from the old base yeah maybe i'm just taking a promotion uh covert action next commander the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar well, project can't let all of uh, that go through impossible the Avatar project is entering its <sighs> Didn't want the to do the black side, but it is what it is. One of their facilities. We have, to move fast or everything we have the prime team cost. available, so at least that won't be that won't be waste of time. Those two, those two. Hmm. And I think we need a sapper. Tech specialist isn't bad either. Yeah, I'll figure it out. That is unfortunate. We are done with the Doom Clock, and all we can do is the Black Side facility. Not a great prospect. Proving grounds will need to come soon so that we can also get the skull check. And we will need to find ways to actually get to the uh, facilities. I think we have Research no facility lead yet. Planned, no. There's our facility lead. Potentially need to get that one next. Just to slow everything down a little bit more. So yeah, we can start it before month, the month um, end is due. Could have also um, put her into that speed up. which creates a faster sabotage that in itself is good the sabotage will likely trigger a an ambush mission so we got to be aware of that other than that i think the next uh, big mission will be getting a facility lead because we don't want to lose the campaign by not being able to go to the facility scientist would not be bad either but yeah facility lead is the way to go that way we at least have one uh, fallback security measure in case things are not working out we're getting proving grounds next as well and then training center which is again much needed because we have quite a few 
uh, mobility points and we haven't spent them so our soldiers uh, could definitely benefit from a few more act um, a few more um, of their abilities if you by the way uh, have a training center at your home try to uh, train aiming for the like button that is a difficult task uh, you might want to spend a couple of a uh, real life AP into that um, in, and acquiring the trait of uh, liking Saiken's channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.